consider a projectile projected from the surface of the earth. Let u be the velocity of projection and theta the angle of projection. Theta means the angle the initial velocity made with the x axis. Let this green path is the trajectory of the projectile or simply the path covered by the projectile. Let P be the point where the projectile finally hit the ground. So this term time of flight, time of flight represented by T suffix F. Basically this time of flight means the time taken by the projectile to come back to the same horizontal level from where it is projected. That is uh, the distance, sorry, not the distance, the time taken by the projectile to move from point O to the point B along this green path. That's the time of flight. So how will you find the equation of time of flight? So how will you derive a formula for time of flight? For that, I'm just considering the second kinematic equation of motion. That is SC is equal to UT plus half AT square. This equation is the second kinematic equation. And you have to, before that, you just resolve the U, that initial velocity. This will be u cos theta or the horizontal component of initial velocity that will be u cos theta and this will be u sin theta the vertical component or y component of initial velocity now let's consider the vertical motion of the projectile the vertical motion of the projectile vertical motion of the projectile When you consider the vertical motion in vertical direction, all the parameters in here changes correspondingly. Like S, S turns to be S, sorry, S become SY, and this U will become UY since the all, all we are considering only the components along the vertical direction or along Y direction. T you don't have you don't have to write Tx or Ty because time time has no axis. So simply write T plus half acceleration will be Ay T square. Clear. Now what what are the, what are the values of all these quantities? See Sy is equal to since it is projected from the point O and it came back to the point or came back to the same horizontal level which means there is no vertical displacement for this projectile so the it ha, definitely it has a horizontal displacement op but there is no vertical displacement so sy is zero now uy is equal to uy will be the vertical component of velocity this one u sin theta The, the vertical component of initial velocity and Ay, now this thing Ay, Ay, there is always gravity that is acceleration due to gravity in the downward direction. Since it is directed in, in, towards the ground or in the downward direction, you have to take minus g. So this will be minus g. The, now substitute all the values in here. So this is equal to, this one is equal to 0, uy is u sin theta, similarly t is tf, the time of flight. So tf plus half into ay is minus g tf square. Simplifying, you get, you can take this u sin theta to the left minus u sin theta tf is equal to this will be minus half g tf square 
you can cancel this that is that is you can cancel this minus and minus so u sin theta into tf is equal to half g tf square since the time of flight can't be zero and it always take a positive value you can cancel one tf and one tf here so the equation will be tf is equal to you can you can move this 2 to the left so this will be 2 u sin theta by take this g to the denominator g so this is the expression of time of flight tf equal to 2u sin theta by g